Hey everybody, welcome back to a Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, we're going to do a couple quick searches with ChatGPT to see how it functions as a search engine. I'm going to talk about some of my concerns with using this as a search engine and how companies may want to integrate it into search, such as Google, Microsoft, or whoever. And I'm also going to show you Neva, who's actually already done this, and I really like how they've done it. I'll show you why in a sec. Um, so I've got a couple searches I want to do here. Let's say I just want to search some information on Michael Jordan, right? Very famous person uh, with a lot of things that you could pull from the internet to like learn about them. So I'm just searching it in ChatGPT. Uh, and so it's going to start giving me a response. He's a retired professional basketball player and businessman, uh, considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time, six national championships with the Bulls in the 90s. And after his career, he was a successful businessman, uh, particularly his ownership of the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, um, pretty decent. Um, a big concern uh, that, of course, uh, comes up is, well, how did you get this information? How do I know this is true? Like, if I didn't already know who Michael Jordan was, how do I know this is actually what I want to know? Um, and so that's where something like uh, traditional search on Google um, is more useful, right? Like, you can kind of see um, some information on him. You can see pictures. Um, but all of these have links out to the sources for this information, right? And so you can see all this information, but you can always click through to see the source um, and then decide how trustworthy that is um, and that sort of thing. Neva kind of handles this pretty well, actually. So I did a search for Michael Jordan, and it gives us kind of the similar uh, stuff that Google did, but it also has this Neva AI thing here at the top. And it says Michael Jordan is an American businessman and former basketball player, uh, which is very close to the, what uh, ChatGPT gave us. And it kind of goes through all the things... Um, but what I really like is that it cites for like this block, it says we got this from Wikipedia. For this one, we got it from IMDb. Uh, these bits are from biography.com. Like it's showing you what these things are and I can open them in a new tab and get the information that I want. So this is, I think, a really cool thing is it's giving me the search results like normal, but it's also giving me this kind of dynamic, like here's just a paragraph about the person that you just searched for with citations. And I think the citations are really important. Um, let's do another one or just some of general information. When did the dinosaurs go extinct? So this one, it should probably get this. This is general information and uh, yeah, ChatGPT should get it. Dinosaurs went, went extinct about 65 million years ago, ended the Cretaceous period. And then yeah, some, you know, ChatGPT likes to talk. So it's going to give me some more information. Um, this is a pretty good answer, right? Um, and if you search Google, it's going to be good, right? About 65 million years ago with a link to the source. And again, other things, similar questions. Um, and Neva, you're going to see uh, basically the same thing. Um, but with the AI thing at the top, they went extinct about 65 million years ago. Cretaceous period. Again, you can kind of see how these are uh, <laughs> similarly formatted. Um, but again, it's showing you what search results um, are leading to these answers, right? Um, and I really think that's hugely important. Now, another thing that's of note, and I think that Neva is doing better, and Neva calls out in their kind of blog post where they talk about adding this feature, is that the data used in the training set is important. So I want to know how long is God of War Ragnarok? God of War Ragnarok came out like two months ago. And uh, let's see what ChatGPT says. The length of uh, God of War Ragnarok, the upcoming installment of the God of War series, has not been officially announced yet. It's set to release on 2022. The length of the game can vary. Um, most players can expect 15 to 20 hours, but it doesn't even know this game is released yet. So the data obviously is old. Like there, It has some information that God of War Ragnarok is a thing. It just doesn't think it's out yet. Uh, whereas, of course, if I search this on Google, approximately 20 to 25 hours from GameSpot.com, I can also check what IGN says, Games Radar, how long to beat, right? All these things are here. Um, and so Neva is the interesting one because... It actually is able to um, give me an answer. God of War will take around 20 to 25 hours to complete. Um, and it's kind of rendering it out in real time. There we go. It's got some more information about if you want to spend more time on it, collectibles, that sort of thing. Uh, now, this is actually a thing with um, Neva that I've noticed is that sometimes if the answer goes past this normal uh, space, it actually just uh, kind of gets stuck and you can't click into it. Um, so let me reload to see if that fixes it. Rendering it again. And again, because it's the AI thing, it's slightly different. There we go. 
Um, but you can see where it's pulling this from. So 20 to 25 hours, it's pulling that from videogamer.com and IGN. So again, you can open those in tabs and see um, all the information there. But anyway, I think they're doing a really good job here of kind of a first run at this. I don't think this is sufficient because you need to know where this data is coming from and you need it to be up-to-date information, right? Um, you need to be able to search for new things and get up-to-date information on it, which is something that Google does really well. Um, and I think Neva is doing pretty well with this uh, uh, AI feature that they've got. So yeah, I wanted to show it off to you to guys today because I think this is a, a version of this is what we'll see on Google um, in the next probably year or two. We'll see something like this. And I think it's uh, I think it's pretty rad. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.